Hey, welcome back to the channel. You guessed it, a project. That's right. Um, this time, it's uh, one of the um, oddest projects I've done so far. I've been looking on uh, YouTube to see what other people do and simply they just don't do it. <laughs> there might be a reason for that, I'll find it soon. But I think uh, in my specific situation that new, um, let's say, contraption is going to help me uh, maintain the trails. It's all about maintaining the trails in winter. Uh, some of you folks have uh, suggested I get tracks on the UTV. I don't say no, but actually budget is kind of um, a concern there. Uh, that's quite expensive having tracks on that and I'd rather spend budget on something else that is right there. Oh, you don't see it. Anyways, you will see it. So whenever I have to go in the trails, would it be for pleasure or for logging? I need to clear the trails. I've uh, done a snowplow on the UTV. But <clears throat> this year we've got snow after snow after snow after snow. It, it didn't melt and uh, pushing snow on the sides have its limit. So the windrows reached a point where I couldn't push further. So I had to manage the windrows and each and every time it snows it's uh, pushing me to the limit where it's going to get narrow. Uh, some of, of you might suggest I use the snow blower, but actually the windrows are some of the time uh, over a ditch. So I've tried that. I've tried to uh, blow the windrow in the driveway and I almost ditched the case, which is not good. Anyways, I save you that uh, detail was not a big concern because I, I've tried this where it's, it was not steep, but uh, <clears throat> not good. So maybe I could use bowlands and go back and forth and pushing them, but uh, you know, that's miles of trails. It's not a good way of uh, doing so. So I need to do it quick, fast, easy, as lazy as I can do. So I'm going to show you the contraption and the question is are you suited for working inside a garage? No, I'm suited to go and try this new contraption. So why I haven't done any video yet is that it was supposed to start with something very very simple, a small device, a uh, temporary device and I couldn't resist to make a, a whole thing out of that. So I'm going to show you that and present you my new toy. So some of you have seen it in some previous videos. This is a log holder. Um, I'm missing the crane yet to be received. Uh, should receive it in the next uh, few days, few weeks, hopefully sooner than later. This is the uh, hydraulic unit because uh, I'm going to use that with the UTV which doesn't have any hydraulic uh, outputs. And that's the same, by the way, with the case. I don't have any hydraulic uh, outputs. I'll show you then the contraption. But now the question is, how would you call that contraption? Please find a name because we'll need a name for that. <laughs> okay, let's take a few seconds and look at this. Looks like a plow, good. It's about four feet wide, 16 inches tall. It's not even touching the ground, <laughs> which is very odd first. And it's attached to the uh, log loader. This is a 2x3, quarter of an inch thick material. 
uh, three inches pipes here and there, uh, small tabs with a pin. So you can see it's just sliding over the uh, current existing support like you see here. So you can still put that in position. And we have on the plow one arm on each side. This one is for tension. Here's this one is to set the angle and pre-stress pre the uh, spring so it doesn't go uh, every direction. I'm going to twist test this to get ready to hook that here. I hope you can see it. Yep. Okay. Maybe I can go even more angle. So from here, you can see there's a good angle. Okay. From the side up to here, I got about five feet, maybe a little bit less.
Let's target for the second pass. I go five inches uh, lower.
quick video of my last latest and uh, oddest contraption. Don't forget in the comment we'll have to give it a name so I'm uh, open to the uh, suggestions. So see you on the next time. Thank you.